Hello! Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are doing part two of the Trans Am. Been waiting for the bumper for quite a while and uh, it's, uh, it's still not here yet, but we're just gonna finish it without it, which isn't a big deal because we can just slap it on the back when we're done. So I was getting ready to put the Phoenix on the hood. If you remember where we left off, had the car white, I was gonna give it a little bit of clear coat and then I was gonna start on some decals. Here are my decals. <laughs> Phoenix. Blah, 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 blah. It's going to be epic. I don't know. The, the rear bumper is so insignificant. What you guys want to see is all this stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. When the bumper shows up, I don't even have to take apart the car. I can just literally put a couple drops of glue and just stick it on there. No problem. So we'll just get this done and out of the way because it's it's been a bit of an inconvenience. I want to rock! Bam, 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 bam. A little bit of water. There's a little teeny bit of soap in there. Just go for it. That's a pretty big decal, but we'll just have to see. Lay down some micro set. So if you got a high quality photo printer like I do, you can print out nice decals like this. The only problem is, this thing's crooked as hell. I can see the decal starting to wrinkle a little bit around the bottom here. That's just the micro set doing its thing. Once it starts wrinkling, you got to leave it alone and it'll just kind of spread out and like cling to your whatever you're working on. So I gave this a nice little light coating of micro set on top. So I'm just going to put this to the side and let it do its thing and we'll get back to it and it'll be perfect. I've got some decals right here that I made again. So I got spares, clearly. These little Trans Ams are for the sides. Hell yeah, man, Trans Am. I like it. Do this side, same thing. I don't know how accurate this model is. I feel like the scoop should be back a little bit. And we'll let that just chill. Looking real good. Looking real good so far. All right, so I'm gonna put the whole body aside and I'm gonna let these decals dry out for a long time here. All right, we are back. I've got the car clear coated. It's polished up. Looks pretty good. I barely had to do any wet sanding this time around. Put our little decals on our scoop. Get a good look at that little scoop right there. It's real nice, it's real nice. Got some very small details. We got our Oh, kind of they both look like they're the same color. This is more of an amber and that's a deeper red, but With all the white in the shot, it's kind of messing up things a little bit So I don't have the rear bumper still I know it's been a few days and I don't know what's going on with the post system I wouldn't have started this car if I knew it was gonna be a month uh, Initially when I started this project we expected the bumper to be here a day or two after so Oh well, might as well get it done. Once it shows up, I'll do an update. 
and it'll be easy as just slapping it on the back no problem at all so i would like to uh start doing an assembly here got everything together it's your hood phoenix looking pimp so yeah i think we could start putting in some uh start putting in some lights and things at this point and we'll probably start out with these little amber turn indicators because i like them so much white i can't tell what's focusing it's blinding under these lights man that's nice the white really does such a such a nicer job of showing off everything compared to that gray the gray was just gross beautiful so much cleaner looking most of you guys were pretty chill about uh waiting for this video some of you <laughs> some of you guys not so much all right let's see you gotta make sure i get these headlights oriented properly i think they go like this and then we drop them on the ground like so and you grab them between your toes with a sock. And then it comes right back. Got it. Got it. Just a little dab. Just a little dab. And then you just aggressively press it in there with your thumb. Glue on myself. I'm gonna get it on the car, and Daddy's gonna freak. So I didn't realize it at the time, but we are actually building another version of the car that Ertel released. We're gonna call it Ertel. I don't. I still don't know the right way. I'm not actually a collector. Never really followed model cars in the past. But I've always been pretty good at fixing up stuff, and you know, I like projects, so that's what got me into this. I'm just gonna put one little dabber there, and one little dabber there. Bloop. Bloop. Press those bad boys right to the back. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I love it. All right. Um, maybe we could see about. I think we could get these doors on at this point. It's been my polishing rag, so it's got uh, just polish residue on it, and it's a real good job of cleaning up the little baby scratches on this kind of stuff. We're not gonna be dipping this in pledge, guys. Come on. <laughs> That's getting a little bit crazy. It's funny, you know, in the comments, people actually, like, freak out. Like, you never dip that windshield. It's like, dude. I was saying earlier that we were kind of inadvertently building a different version of this here Trans Am that Ertel released. They did a white one, just like this with the blue Phoenix. But I think ours is going to look better. Here's some pictures of the one that they did. Okay, we'll get this hood on. Get that dash in there while we're at it. We've got a big black piece that goes on the bottom of this hood. It kind of looks like a uh, firewall insulation. I'm sure that's what it's meant to be. Pamp. Notice our bird is a little bit higher up on the hood. That was a big complaint of a lot of you guys in the comments saying that they had theirs placed too low and ours is ours is a lot more realistic. Yeah. So I got some taillights are drying. That set me back a whole day. I was going to uh, just give them a little bit of a little scrub with the toothbrush to clean all the whatever was on them and all the red came off because they were old so I re-clear coated them red again and I just put a little bit of a, a silver trim on them so they're drying so maybe we'll move on to getting this air cleaner back on the car 
teeny dab of glue on there just so it doesn't get lost. Sweet that it's a four speed car. While we're waiting, we'll just darken up these wheels a little teeny bit. I don't want to make these look like they're gunmetal. I just want them to look a little less plastic. So I'm really going to try to spread this stuff around. Kind of put some shadows in there, you know. Paint. That's all I really wanted. Just to kind of give them a little bit of depth, you know. Right, see if I can get these tail lights on this bad boy. It's actually got a really ugly rear bumper. I think it looks better without a bumper. Kind of gives it that little Corvette butt, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's about it. We can put this back on the chassis. Move on with our lives. We'll have some closure. Finally. I want to see that little scoop come through the hood. That's all I want to see. Big shout out to John for sending me this. Thank you, brother. This thing is very cool. I've only done three of these big ones, and uh, I've actually learned something new on each one. I figured out the secret recipe to uh, clear coat something this scale. I had way more trouble on the Corvette than I did this one. This one was easy. As far as clear coating goes. Hell yeah, man. I love it. Nice stock finish. Factory tailpipes. Really feeling that. Good looking interior, son. Click, 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 click. I wish I owned this car. Mm. It's very nice. I had a great time doing this one. Sorry it took so long. Don't worry about the bumper. It's just uh, be two seconds to put that on as soon as it gets here. I got a couple more bigger cars on the way. John, gracious John, who sent me this car, also sent in a GTO. I haven't seen it yet. That's uh, coming in with a bumper, so who knows? It's maybe trapped in customs. I have no idea. No idea where it is. Nobody does. We've been having all kinds of problems with the mail. Sorry, o OCD. OCD kicking in. We've been having all kinds of problems with the mail lately, so who knows? Who knows? I shouldn't make any promises, but yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Throw me a like. This one was a lot of work. Consider subscribing. Have a great day, fam. See you later.